Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to tell you what are my top five boxing gloves under $100. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm gonna to give you guys my top five boxing gloves you can get under $100. This is probably uh, the question that I get the most is uh, gloves in this price range under $100. Obviously, everybody's on a different budget, and the gloves I'm about to tell you guys are all gloves, obviously, that I've used myself, that I've done a review on. So without further ado, here is my top five. Coming in at number five is going to be the Superior winning style boxing gloves. Now, this is a company that's based out of Pakistan um, that originally was selling their goods through eBay. And I had noticed them for a while and I finally pulled the trigger um, sometime last year uh, on these gloves, bought them on eBay. And at the time they were being sold for $35, which I thought was insane. And nobody at the time had done a review on them. Um, and when I purchased them, I was kind of thinking in my head, man, these are probably gonna turn out to be really bad. For 35 bucks, you know, what 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 should I expect from these gloves on eBay? Um, and when they came in, I was super surprised on how good these gloves were, you know, considering what I paid for them. Uh, I actually even posted it on my Instagram, uh, on my Instagram story to show people like, dang, look at these gloves, they're only 35 bucks. Anyhow, fast forward to today, the gloves are currently being sold for 67 to 68 US dollars, just depending on the con conversion rate, which is still a good deal. Um, gloves are 100% genuine leather. Uh, they come anywhere between 12 to 16 ounces. You can get Velcro or lace up. And they do a fairly good job of, of replicating the winning style with a multi-layer foam padding, um, the polyester nylon liner that's smooth on the inside, good feedback and protection. It's a pretty well balanced glove. The Velcro version is okay in terms of wrist support. It's a little on the flimsy side, just like the real winning is. Um, so I would recommend going with the lace up. But for you know, $67, $68 for a glove like this, that's really well balanced. It's genuine leather that has multiple sizes and color options. Um, I definitely like the Superior Boxing Gloves coming in at number five. Coming in at number four is going to be the Fighting Sports Fury Boxing Gloves. Now, this is really a title product under the Fighting Sport name. Um, these gloves have been out for a couple of years now. They come in four different colorways, like red, blue, white, and black. Um, several different sizes to choose from. I believe you can get them anywhere between 12 to 16 ounces and they do have it in both lace-up and Velcro closure. Uh, when I originally got these gloves, again, this was kind of uh, under the thought process that they look really similar to the winning MS series gloves, uh, which I felt like uh, Tidal was trying to achieve with this glove. And surprisingly, they're awesome gloves. They retail for 99 bucks. Um, excellent hand compartment. Take some breaking in. They're not as soft. They're not super stiff either. They're kind of right in the middle multi-layer foam padding that lends itself to be a little bit more on the protective side but still gives you good pop on the heavy bag the great thing about this gloves is that you can really use it for all types of training in your gym so whether it's sitting in the bag the mitts um, doing partner drills sparring i feel like this is one of those really well balanced gloves and the great thing about them as well is their full genuine leather construction they hold up really nicely the thumb ergonomics are perfect the hand ergonomics are really good and didn't have any issues with any pain in my hand in terms of my knuckles or the wrist area. Um, and typically with title boxing, depending on what holiday it is, they do pretty some pretty steep discounts. So if you sign up for the newsletter, you can get 20% off, off the bat. Uh, but it, with that being said, if you hit a good uh, holiday like Memorial Day or, or like you know Black Friday, Thanksgiving, um, title is really generous in the fact they usually give like 30, 35% off. I've even seen 40% off, so you can really uh, score a good deal if you're able to get one of those um, uh, those sales during this holiday. So uh, coming in at number four is going to be the Fighting Sport Fury Boxing Gloves. Coming in at number three are going to be the Venom Impact Boxing Gloves. You can get this glove anywhere between 8 to 16 ounces. They have them a ton of different colorways and designs that you can check out on the Venom website. And these retail, they have kind of a range between uh, anywhere between I've seen 55 to $75, just depending on the size, the style, if one of the styles discontinued. So there's some variable with that, but I've never seen anything higher than $75 for the Venom Impacts. And they're probably my favorite um, mid-level uh, boxing glove from Venom. My favorite glove 
uh, from Venom period is going to be the hammers, but that's their higher end pro boxing glove line. But the Venom impacts are great. They do use a synthetic leather material on them that's really durable. Um, the greatest feature about these gloves I felt is the, the hand compartment is really comfortable, excellent thumb positioning, and the, the three layer foam padding they use on there um, is really well balanced. It does a great job of compressing, giving you good shock protection, but also getting that pop on the bag. And I felt like I would always land on my two front knuckles with this glove. Uh, it didn't feel like a tie glove or, or kind of like a hybrid between a tie and a boxing, a classical boxing glove. It felt more like a boxing glove. It had a little bit of extra padding on the palm, but not too much like a tie glove where it just overcrowds your palm and you feel like your hand is kind of getting suffocated by extra foam padding. Um, I felt like the, this glove had excellent ergonomics. And to be honest with you, it really surprised me when I first got them. Um, I thought it would be more of that tie style glove. Um, excellent wrist support with it because they give you an ample amount of padding around your wrist. And an overall, a great glove. It's probably one of the gloves I always recommend for people that you know leave comments on my videos. Hey, what, should I, what glove should I get in the 50 to $60 range? And nine times out of 10, it's gonna be the Venom Impact. So uh, coming in at number three are the Venom Impacts. Coming in at number two are going to be the Heavy Hitters Champion Boxing Gloves. These retail for $99. Heavy Hitters is a company based out of Korea, but um, they're starting to really heavily promote and market their gloves here in the United States. You have several gyms in Vegas um, that uh, have been using the gloves. A lot of pro boxers use them as well. So they're really starting to gain steam when it comes to the popularity of the glove. Now, what I love about the Heavy Hitter Champion Glove, other than the fact that it's $99, is you have multiple sizes to choose from, anywhere between eight to 16 ounces, several different colors you could choose from. They do have a lace-up and a Velcro version of it. But the best feature about this glove is how broken in and comfortable this glove is. Um, punch equipment makes the, the Ultra Fuerte Ultra gloves. To me, they're identical to those. They probably use the same manufacturer, but heavy hitters is cheaper. Um, but when you slide your hand in there, you're, you're almost like surprised. Uh, uh, it's almost unreal on how comfortable the gloves are. You can literally open and close your hands with relative ease, really nice and broken in feel. The padding on the gloves are definitely more on the softer side. They compress well, um, but they're not as stiff as like the Fighting Sport Furious or even the Venom Impacts. They have a, a little bit more of a softer feel to them. Multi-layer foam padding, excellent thumb. And to me, the gloves, just they just have that really nice broken in soft feel. So for those of you that really love to put your hand into a glove that feels comfortable right off the bat, no break in period, performs nicely, gives you good pop and bang, uh, on the heavy bag or the mitts, and you can use them for sparring, um, then the Heavy Hitters Champion Gloves are definitely a, a great recommendation, and that's why they come in at number two. Coming in at number one, may come as a surprise to you guys, would be the Hayabusa H5 Boxing Gloves. Now, these retail for $99. Uh, they come with a synthetic leather material, really similar, if not the same, as their T3 gloves. That's really durable for synthetic, has a really nice rugged feel. Uh, several different sizes to choose from, I believe, all the way from 12, if not 10. I believe it's 12 ounces all the way to 16 ounces. Um, it is a Velcro closure only glove. Several cl colors to choose from, the, uh, black and gold, black and red. They, I believe they have a white and a black and all black. Um, several colors to choose from anyhow. But what I really love about these gloves is their performance. And honestly, when I purchased them, I really didn't know what to expect because I've tried the Hayabusa S4 gloves which is their kind of their entry-level glove that's cheaper than the H5, which are okay, they're not great, they're not bad, they're just kind of middle of the road. And then there's obviously the T3s, which are by far Hayabusa's most popular, most marketed gloves, uh, which are good gloves too, a little bit too bouncy for my taste as far as the foam padding goes. So I really didn't know what to expect with the H5. I, thought, I felt like the H5 was a glove that Hayabusa kind of wanted to fill that void between the T3 and the S4, and I think they did a fantastic job, to be honest with you. One thing I love about the H5 is it has elements of the T3 without the bounciness in the foam. So they use a multi-layer foam padding, but when you use it on a heavy bag for the mitts or even for sparring, man, you get this excellent crack and feedback um, that you don't get in the S4 and you don't get into the T3. I feel like the T3s kind of have more of a bounciness to them. Where the H5s, when you land a shot, you really just kind of feel like your knuckles dig in, but not to the point where it hurts your hand or you feel any kind of discomfort. So I love the hand compartment. I love the material they use for the liner, which is really nice and comfortable. It's not, it doesn't bunch up like some of those um, nylon polyester liners do. Excellent thumb. They carried over the suede thumb from the T3. So I love the fact that they use that same design where that you have that micro suede material on the thumb. So if you start to sweat, you can kind of wipe it off and it doesn't just drip all over your glove. Uh, the design of the glove looks pretty cool. It looks sharp. It doesn't look overly tacky. 
The sizing of the glove is perfect as well. It's not overly bulky, so I felt like the dimensions based on the size you get, whether it's 14 or 16, are proper dimensions. So if, even if you have smaller or big old, you know, Bigfoot hands, you should be okay because the sizing is on point. Um, and also the wrist support. So the Velcro strap that they use has an elastic built into it. So when you wrap it around your, your wrist, it gives it a nice locked in feel. It doesn't have this, the dual strap system like the T3 does where it really locks your, your wrist in. But to me, for me, if, you have some, if you're somebody that doesn't have any wrist issues, I find that might be a little bit overkill to the point where it kind of like chokes your, your wrist out a little bit too much. Where the H5, I feel does a, a great job of still giving me that same wrist support um, without allowing your, your, your wrist to have too much flexion in it. Um, but at the same time, it's comfortable. It doesn't feel like your hand is getting choked out. So to me, I feel the H5, in my opinion, from using it is better than the T3, although from a cost standpoint, the T3 would say otherwise because those are $139 compared to the $99 you pay for the H5. Um, but the H5 are excellent gloves, man, um, at the price point of $99. For gloves in that price range, I still think they're the best ones currently, right now, based on the performance and how I enjoyed using them. Uh, so coming in at number one would be the Hayabusa H5 boxing gloves. I hope you guys enjoyed my top five under $100 boxing glove list. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below. If you think I missed a glove that should have been in that list, make sure you leave that down there too. You know, I'm always up for a discussion and I'll see you guys later. Peace.